Hey y'all, for this week's Meaningful Moment, I wanted to talk to you guys about community, and in particular your Christian community. As a lot of you guys know, I grew up at MDMC. I was confirmed, went through middle school, high school, and even uh, did summer staff a few years when I was in college at MDMC. I had a really good group of guy friends throughout the entire time that really helped me to continue to go and show up to things at MDMC. We loved it. We were at every Fat Tuesday, we went to work camp, spiritual life, you name it. If there was a retreat, we were there. Um, and one of the faults in that group of friends that I had was we did not like to invite others to join our group. We were very territorial and very cliquish, I guess, in our uh, crew. Um, if you were in a different social circle or went to a different school or whatever in a different grade, um, we didn't really hang out with you really <laughs> much. And, and uh, it wasn't until probably about midway through high school that that started to change um, for the better, thankfully. Um, through doing so much at the church and being so involved and taking on you know, different leadership opportunities, we were kind of forced to hang out with different people who weren't just in our group. And it became great. We made more friends and our community expanded. Um, and so it was great. Uh, some of my best friends to this day uh, were friends who I met on summer staff or later in high school who uh, weren't originally part of our crew and uh, the thing that kept us together and our common bond was our experiences and stuff through the church um, just serving and loving and you know having Jesus at the center of a lot of that and so some of my most meaningful friendships to this day are from that and from slowly beginning to expand our uh, community so I have a verse I want to share with you guys real quick. Um, it's from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19, and it goes like this. Now, therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Um, and so I love this verse because it talks about how these we're joined into this family with Jesus, um, and he's the foundation of it. He's the foundation of a lot of these great relationships we have in our life, and uh, I hope that's the same for you guys. I know it's hard to branch out and make new friends um, during this coronavirus, but I want to encourage y'all when you are able to gather back together to branch out of your group, uh, branch out of your grade, um, and you know, if you continue to be involved at MDMC or wherever you are, um, hopefully the bond that ties you together is your faith and not just what sport team you're involved with or where you go to school. So I hope y'all are encouraged and I look forward to seeing y'all in the future.